You see, God is creating a new creature in Christ. And the law of God is so critical and so important when it comes to doing just that. Revelation 22 and verse 12 says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give to every man according as his work shall be. Oh, wait a minute. Works. What works? How many times have I heard, not of works, lest any man should boast. You don't want to put forth any effort to do anything. You sure don't want to obey God's law. Not of, that would be works. How many times have you heard that? And preachers, they will stop at that verse every time. Not of works, lest any man should boast. And they won't continue to read the Bible. Ephesians 2 and verse 10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Again, I talk about this spiritual operation that God is, is performing on mankind. It's a work of, 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 of his, it's his workmanship, and we are created in Christ Jesus to do good works. And I tell you, the law of God, the Ten Commandments, defines what morality is and what those good works are. They really do. They're not the only good works, but I tell you, every good work that you do is going to incorporate the Ten Commandments. They really are. No matter what you set your hand to do, the Ten Commandments will be incorporated into those good works. Revelation 22 and verse 13, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. I mean, what commandments? I thought all those commandments had been nailed to the cross. I thought they had all been done away with. I mean, who do you think Jesus is talking to? When you have this group of people that Jesus explained, you know, Lord, we've done all these wonderful works. We've prophesied inspired preaching in your name. We've cast out devils in your name. You know, we've had soup kitchens to feed the poor. We have community service, and our church is always doing something good for the community. And Jesus comes along and says, I never knew you, you workers of lawlessness. Do you realize that's what he says? The word in the King James is iniquity, but it just means lawlessness. He accuses them of having a lawless theology. Where might I hear about a lawless theology? Well, just tune in to mainstream churchianity. Law's been abolished, been nailed to the cross, been done away with, been destroyed, been fulfilled. Take your pick, and you will hear a lawless theology. And Jesus comes along and says, look, I never, you did a lot of wonderful things. You did a lot of good community service. You cast out devils. You did all this wonderful preaching. But you had a lawless theology. Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.